when, it, when at the last moment I finally apologize because no she fucked the door. You be hanging your hat on shit that is not wrong, right? Like I'm not never gonna say majority of men know how to apologize. What I will say is it is a thing the girl apology. Like we didn't come up with that. No, but the dude apology is what I just described. But we, well, no, why we got that. Are but we that's, talking that's, about that's, that no, I, mean, that's I didn't make that anyway. up. We've never, I, I didn't make never, that up. I've never heard that be a thing. The dude apology. Never. I, I literally. You just made it up, nigga. <laughs> I, I did not, I did You've not never heard up. that either. You never heard it. You uh, never heard the so dude you know, apology. Know, All right, heard so what is the dude apology? Yeah, he just said I, 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 Are you hungry? I, I know. It, it, I, I'm sorry that you felt that way. And in fact, not only is not only is it not it's something... It's off the dome. Not only is it something I made up, go watch The Office. There's a moment where Kelly Kapoor actually interviews... That's not Paul. That's... that's, that's just give him a little soundtrack. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> soundtrack. Hey, big mark. Now go ahead and get shit. Some of the author of Kelly Kapoor. Yeah. No, because you said I made it up, so I'm saying yeah, I, I'm yeah, going to yeah. give you an actual example. I'm a of, fan of the author. Go right. So, so when she says she's get, he's giving a good apology, Ryan does it to me all the time. Oh, I I'm sorry that. you. For, that's right. So I didn't just make it Got up. It. Got it. I that's why I'm, I'm using that example. So I didn't just make it up. But the point is, dude, the dude apology is, I'm sorry you felt that way. It's to not take accountability for our role in making them feel that True. way. It's a classic. Now, for fair use purposes, I do have to pause and I do have to give some criticism and some commentary. And my criticism and commentary at the moment is I don't know why Joe hired this Mark Lamont Hill guy. Like, did he hire him just to talk for politics for one pod? Does he think this is going to be Queen's Flip replacement? Like, come on now. Say what y'all want to about Flip. But Flip is really holding the JBB. Like we're gonna we're gonna be honest. What do they like to say? Wake it up. We're gonna wake it up today. <laughs> Flip be holding this fucking podcast down when he's there. If he ain't there, it's ish. It's ish. At the end of the day. Joe Button's too mute now. He he likes spilling his beans on his Patreon now. Public pod is the time for Ish and Flip to shine. And they they fucking shot. I just don't. Mark, Mark Lamont Hill isn't. You know. I, I get it. He has energy. He 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 comes with a certain vibrato that is good for a pod. It's just you know, what's the point? I really don't care about his opinions about hip hop or music. Like he really doesn't come from that background. Is he there to just shit on Trump whenever Trump does something and Joe can just sit back and let him shit on Trump while he talks because he feels like he's more eloquent to do so? I don't know. It's just odd. It's odd to me. This is an odd pickup for for Joe. Joe is usually good at making good podcast picks. You feel me? Like I ain't really fuck with Ice in the beginning, but at a certain point, Ice did grow on me. So that made sense-ish. I always fucked with Ish. Made sense. Flip. Made sense. Melissa Ford. Say what y'all want to about her. On that podcast, she makes fucking sense. Mark Lamont Hill doesn't make any sense to me. I don't I don't get it. I just don't. That's, but that's just me. Thing that people talk about all the time. I didn't just make that up. Now, and I'm saying, I'm not saying. No, that, that happens for sure. Yeah, happens. and I'm not saying that women don't. I, my issue is everybody has this problem, but we tend to stigmatize certain people. But you're right. acknowledging it's, that there's it's, a good apology. It's, it's, this boy right here. You I just want to know why we even again. talking about the you dude apology. Because yeah. yeah. of Mark. No, 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 no. Because <laughs> of Mark. Here's why. Look Here, at Mark. Here's, <laughs> here's why. Right? It's, it's, it's like if I were to say, you know, you know, black people really spend more than they make. Right? Everybody spends more than they make. But as soon as I say black people now, it sounds like it's a unique black people problem. There's, there's something wrong with black people. Mm. So, right? So, and if a white person said, they'd be like, wait a minute, white people, this shit's fucked up too. Well, My point is, everybody's fucked up. But if we only sound like women are fucked up. We're not doing but that. We're talking we're about, a woman, about a woman that weaponized a bad fans. apology. He said women are bad at apologies, not people are bad at You can just say people are bad at apologies, and she's one of them. <laughs> but we talking about women. Let's just keep No, we talking about, talk about women. Let's talk about people. Woman. But it's nothing about her being a woman. Not women. Not women. It's a very big conversation. But it's yeah. nothing about her being a woman that made her bad at it. It's her. It's just be, being a person in we a relationship. That's what I'm saying. Thank we, you. we won't broach it. All right, we can leave. Okay. All right, hold on. I, she, she's Christian, right? Uh, For example, let's say she's Christian, right? We don't okay. know, man. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> a hypothetical. Uh, baby named Halo might be. All right. So I could say based on academic, well, Christians are bad at apologies. Look at look at Haley, right? But that wouldn't make sense because nothing about her Christianity that made her do that. I could say people from this city are like that. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing got nothing to do with it. It's the fact that she's a human being. Let me ask people you a are bad at making apologies. Do women have a hard time taking accountability? I think all people have a bad time. I ask you a direct question. Yes or no? That is, but no. 
Yes. <laughs> Thank got you. Him. Okay, let me ask you. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me ask you. Don't ask me no question. I can't. Don't ask me no question. No, here's a better way of wording your stupid ass fucking question. Do you think Yo, that women have, a, di- have a more difficult time taking accountability than men do? And the answer is fucking no. And the answer is no. That's the point. The answer is motherfucking no. The answer is fucking no because you guys do not know every single person on this fucking earth. How much time? Yo, y'all hear this right now? <laughs> I fuck with Melissa Ford. But you know what that sounds like? A woman who doesn't like taking accountability. Because you know what she did? Instead of saying, yes, women are bad at taking accountability, she said, yes, we are, but men are too. Bruh. <laughs> Just level the fucking playing field. But you didn't That's just do it. You I, said I you am. did not. You said I men am. have a harder time taking no, 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 women. That's not what she said. That is not what I just fucking said. She said, she, said, do you, she said, do you think women have a harder time than men? And the and, answer is and no. She answered it. She said the answer is so no. So it's not people, then it's one or the other. No, I know no, 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 it's no, no. not. Listen, listen, listen. She said, do you think men have a harder time? She said, no, meaning they're the same. She's saying they're the same. Let me ask you a question. I'm literally saying. They're the fucking same. Right. Literally if saying we, they're the up, same. Let me ask you a question, Mark. No, okay. If we're up here and all the men up here take accountability, but the one person never takes accountability, that's a woman. Where are we basing our judgment off of? And you didn't vote. Maybe. <laughs> I'm asking you a question. Answer <laughs> it directly. I'm if answering it directly. All, all men up here that's up here, we all take accountability, but the person that's a woman up here has a hard time taking accountability. Are I'm, you talking about me? I'm asking you, Mark. I don't, I don't have enough information about the situation. But I, but I wouldn't assume, I wouldn't assume that it, I wouldn't assume that whatever the issue is because she's a woman. It's not a dis. It's not a dis. You know, Are you? Mel, yeah, don't dis- yeah, it is. You just curse me. It's not a yeah, dis. Yeah, it is. Mel, I'm not. Di- Mel, you have a hard time taking care of No, you I do it. not. Mel, I not. You know what? It. Y'all motherfuckers okay. abuse the shit out of that fucking phrase. Okay. Calm down with that shit. Got you, Mel. Let's let's say hypothetically that. That's true, right? I don't know anything about y'all's situation. Check. But even if that were true, and I'm yes. not saying it is, I don't know nothing about y'all's situation. Got it. That doesn't mean it's because she's a woman. It means just oh. the person that she yeah, is. I don't know the situation. That's logical. You're right, Look, right. Okay. Keep that same logic when you start talking about other shit, though. Because under that same exact guise, then you can start to, with your racial shit when it came to Kamala Harris, then that same exact logic is supposed to be applicable there. Mm. And you, sure, pick it and, is. you pick and choose, though. How you, so? Because you're saying that she had a hard time in certain instances because she was a female, or she had a certain hard time in certain instances because she was black. Under that particular guise that you're saying, then all things should be level. Right, except there's evidence when people explicitly say, like, I, we were just watching the video. So to Flip's point, and I'm not shooting at you, I was using his hypothetical that if we are up here and it's, it's evident and it's um, um, over a period of time that this is X, then it, it's safe to say that X is the norm. But, not, but, you're, but you're using your example, with Mel, and I feel a little. And then using Mel. Okay. I, I, what I'm saying is, let, let's take take Mel off the table. Data, data, whatever the data. Whatever the data. Let's say there's five dudes and one woman in another room. Uh, let's. It's true. it's possible that that woman just is good is not good at taking accountability. But that's not proof that women are bad I'm at taking accountability. I'm agreeing with you. Yeah, that's all I'm, I'm not making any judgment about that situation because okay. I don't know it. I'm agreeing it's not with my that. Business. So all I'm saying is, if you look at human examples, because I've heard y'all criticize Joe, and I've heard y'all say Joe doesn't take accountability. You don't. Right, but you don't say dudes don't take accountability. I Never. didn't say the woman thing. Never. All right, I, you, say, right, look, I said that. Right, so, so I say people when it comes to a lot of shit. Right, because like, that's, that's my I'm point. I'm the lone dude that stands on sometimes, yo, it's, it's bad guys, it's bad women, it's bad white people, it's bad black people. And that's all I'm I saying. I try to hold a lot of shit to the, to the even standard. Like, it's bad people of all genders. So all of that shit across the board, I think it's a case-by-case basis. And that's all I'm saying. So I'm not going to step out in the world and say black people... Black people or 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 women or tall people or whatever have a thing, right? You do because you say white people have a thing. The difference is it's not because they're white. It's not their whiteness. It's the and that's the difference. There's nothing inherent about white people that makes them hate black people. But we live in a society that treats white people in a certain way and that, and that privileges white people in a certain way. You're pivoting. 
I'm not. And I'm you saying, and, and, and the evidence shows that there are differences, right? But I wouldn't just walk into the room and make a blanket assumption about a person, a, a particular white person. You right. You know Got what you. I mean? Or, or yeah. and, and anything about their white, it's not their inherent whiteness, right? But y'all are saying there's something about women, just by being women, that I, makes them, I'm, whoever's making this claim. I said that, yeah, I said that. Yeah, yeah you, you are saying that there's something about women, just by virtue of being women, that makes them not accountable. Women come in, women, there are men in the world, there are women in the world, and the women are not accountable. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying I don't believe that to be true. Okay. I believe that we find we look at accountability differently for different people. Got it. But I believe men and women are unaccountable. And you, you asked me earlier, I agree. do women have a hard time being accountable? Sure, right? But I'm saying everybody does. So I could have said to you, you could have asked me, do Christians have a hard time being accountable? I would have had to say yes. If you said, do Muslims have a hard time being accountable? I would have had to say yes. I agree with you. Because I think that's human. But so if you but if you just focus on that subset, it. it makes it seem as it's like if I said, do people from Queens have a hard time being accountable? I agree with you. You'd say yes, right? I would say no. Well, of course you would. But if I said, do, do women from the Bronx have a hard time being accountable? You'd say yes. But it's nothing about them being from the Bronx. It's just people. I'm saying, and, and I think I that, and that's all I'm saying. It becomes too, okay, much about, uh, too much about women, I think, and not yeah. enough about people being bad in relationships. I don't think Gregory Hines could step on the same field as you. <laughs> Save you Yeah, that was that. <laughs> that was fucking that, bro. Oh my god! Now I see what people are saying. I get it now, because niggas was calling him a panderer, and that was a very like that was a very like it, it didn't sound like he had an actual opinion about the matter. It just sounded like he was caping for for every group inside in it all, and it's just like, come on, Mark Lamont Hill, how do you feel from your experience? Because I could tell you how I feel from my experience. Y'all want to. Look, from my experience, and I love women. I do. But they just have a hard time taking accountability. It's just it's the truth. <laughs> it's just the truth. Now, do they have a hard time more than men have a hard time? I mean, of course, men are stubborn and whatnot. But if you find the right man, then I'm sure he can be responsible for himself and understand his faults and mistakes. But with women, the difference is you can find that in a man, like kind of generally. Like you're not gonna find like most niggas are assholes, but that, that be the niggas that bitches be chasing. Them be the assholes. Like when y'all chasing the dread niggas, tall, look like they got three guns, came from hood baby side. You know when y'all be chasing. Of course that niggas toxic and probably can't take accountability for his fucking actions. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> but when you're dealing with a regular, average-ass nigga, that nigga understands what he has. He probably just like, look, I don't want to lose it, so I'm just going to, look, I love you. It is what it is. So I, I feel, I do feel that most men do know how to take accountability better than women, not saying that it's women out there that don't know how to take accountability. I'm sure they're out there, but from my experience, that's very far and few in between. It's just my two cents. It's my two cents, okay? Don't kill me, women. I love women. I am not a, a what is it, a misogynist? Not a misogynist. I am a feminist. It's just, you know, I feel like if I, since I have to take accountability for my actions and whatever I do whenever I do something wrong, because that's just how it is as a man. See, that'd be the thing. That's what, that's what is not being said. It's like, as a man, you kind of have no choice but to take accountability, even if you don't want to. Even if you niggas like Joe Budden can afford to not take accountability because he's in a spot where he's taking care of everybody around him. So he could just treat y'all however the fuck he wants you to treat y'all. <laughs> but other niggas, average ass niggas out there, they can't afford to do that. Like they cannot afford to just treat the people that they hold close to them in their lives any type of way because they we we're still working for what we're trying to get. So at the end of the day, people don't really see no value in, in still staying your friend or staying there or being there for you unless they truly love you, unless they truly show you that unconditional love. And you know what I'm saying, so of course, Joe acting like that towards them niggas. <laughs> of course, he ain't. I'm sure dealing with Joe Budden, you would think men don't know how to take accountability like dead ass. Like I, I can get that. But that's just not the case. Rich, rich niggas probably don't because they got money. Of course, they don't know how to take fucking accountability. All right, I'm done. I'm done right now. <laughs> let's move on. Let's move on from that. Um, let's get into this Jaguar right. Um, Courtney Burgess thing that happened. And then after that, we'll talk about the Grammys. And I give my two cents on Absol's album. And what else did I have? 
It was some other shit I had on the docket. And then we... Honestly, no. I really don't care. I kind of do care, but I don't care. Elliot Wilson addressing his bad source. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. It, it depends on how I feel by the time we get there, okay? Oh, but, okay, I also wanted, did want to, okay, we'll watch Danny's video real quick. Shout out to my nigga Danny from The Stop. Danny The Stop. He, uh, because Queen's Flip crashed out on Twitter this weekend. And, wow, I could just go find the tweets. He broke it down. Let's see what happened here. Oh, fucking ads. Yeah, man, I got to get my premium back. Anyways, co-hosts are fighting each other. Queens Flip just tweeted out something that was really shocking and said that him and Imani came to blows. So he tweeted this out recently and he said, Imani challenged me to a fight right before the Patreon. What? We went outside. Make sure you watch the next Patreon. I told Joe this morning on the phone, I'm a nuisance. In the past two months, tension has been high for the content. I will go harder. Now, this was his first tweet. I mean, there's a bunch of tweets we're going to have to get through. And after this, Imani is tweeted by Queensflip and says, You told me let's fight in the elevator. Why, though? And Imani would respond by saying, Old school rules. Square up wherever and ask questions later. And then Flip would let out another tweet and said, that's kind of tricky because of where we was, but you got it, General. And after that, Flip lets out a list of things he's done that should have gotten him fired from the Joe Budden podcast. One, almost fought Ish. Two, made Mel walk off. Three, Imani called me outside to fight and beef with all the people in charge. I guess he's talking about people like Ian, Keeb. And Joe Budden. I don't think he wanted to say their name because that could have led to real issues. And after that, Flip says, I'm not apologizing no more. I ran out of stories. I want to live my life, fulfill my duties, and go on new life adventures. Now, is this him saying that he's done with being on the Joe Budden podcast and wants to make content for Flip the Network? Who knows? But the tweets wouldn't be over with Joe Budden himself saying ain't no apologies i don't know what joe budden's saying i guess maybe he's trying to signify like hey these apologies don't really matter to me just make that content big dog and after that flip would say this dude joe is different i don't know what the f is going on this move i can't figure out he called me early this morning saying what trip are we going on what lol he's mastered trolling well, I guess Joe was trying to run interference and give his guidance on the situation, but I think that's a really bad move, whatever he's doing, and I'll talk about that a little bit later. Then, the final tweet from the big boss man himself, Ian Schwartzman, comes, and he responds to that list he tweeted out earlier about how he should have been fired, and he says, does any of this work? Really interesting stuff. Now, a lot of people are saying this might be COE, but the reason why I don't think this is COE is because of Imani's tweet where he would tweet out, I can't fake my dislike for things too long. Eventually, my feelings will be shared through my words, actions, or lack of both. I'm still a work in progress, so bear with me. Salute. Now, I think that none of these cast members are as wise as we like to think. I'm not saying they're stupid or anything like that. Okay, I think, I think that that was all the tweets, if I'm not mistaken. And shout out to Danny. If y'all want to go hear his opinion about that, then y'all can go check the video out. But, wait, he almost fought Ish? Ain't that crazy? How they almost fight and these niggas are hugging each other right here? That's kind of funny. <laughs> wait, almost fought Ish. Imani called me outside to fight yesterday before Patreon. I went outside. So did they fight? Like, was did, did they fight? Did they get all that? you know, tension off and let it go. Look, honestly, I think I, w I was at first on the side of, yeah, this is all COE. But at the end of the day, I feel like Joe Budden has them under contract and he knows that he has to respect that contract, whether he likes it or not, whether either one of them likes it or not. So I, don't, I, I think Joe is just, you know, playing it out. 
and just letting it happen how it happened. I guess he's like, look, as long as I'm not involved, as long as I'm not the one getting attacked, as long as, you know, I'm the one that's just the bystander of it all, making the money off the content that y'all are helping me create by beefing with each other, then look, so fucking be it. Have at it. I'm not, I'm not mad at that standpoint. Like, if I'm Joe, I kind of would play that role too, seeing that these are my employees. But at the end of the day, this is coming off as a very toxic work environment. Like, why does a Manny feel the need to tweet something like that? Like, that was a very light-skinned tweet. I can't fake my dislike th for things too long. Eventually, my feelings will be shared through my words, actions, or lack of both. Like, what does that even fucking mean? <laughs> I'm still a work in progress, so bear with me. Salute. Like, what the fuck are we doing right now? <laughs> Did you fight or not? Did you whoop his ass or not, Manny? Man up. <laughs> Tell the truth. Did you beat Flip's ass or not? The world wants to know. Okay, the world doesn't want to know. I want to know, but the world doesn't want to know. I would love to see some footage, though. That would be funny. Because these be the same niggas that talk all this shit online. Like, there's a lot of niggas online that talk a lot of shit. And it's like, bro, I know good and goddamn well y'all cannot fight this well in real life. Because <laughs> y'all be talking like y'all y'all can really square up. And knowing good and goddamn well, you knock the nigga to square up. You're the nigga to pull a blicky out if you get your ass beat. Can't just take your loss like a man. That's just the world we're in. But hey, I doubt that happened. I just I just would like to know what happened here. And why are we coming to blows? Like, like Flip is a very, look, if you get on Flip's bad side, he has no remorse for you. But at the same time, I'm trying to figure out how he was able to have this dispute and fight with Manny and... I guess I guess the fight really resolved things. I hope it did. Maybe that's what he needed to do. Maybe he just need, flipped me to fight all his ops so that way they could let it go and we can move on. <laughs> Cause he be beefing with everybody. But I love Flip. But shout out to Queens Flip, man. If anything, if you ask me, I don't think Flip needs the Joe Bun podcast. I really don't. I think all the stuff he's doing, he can do on his own platform. He has a million subscribers. He can reach the audience that he's been been reaching and continue to reach. And he doesn't have to do the pranks that he had been doing. He could just do other type of skits like flip his creative mind. So either way, I think I think he could do amazing things if he just let go of this need to want to be on the Joe Budden podcast. Like, I don't know why he likes. I think he I think he likes having that gig because I wouldn't look if I had flip, if I had a million subscribers, bro. I'm just telling you, Joe, Joe just would have to kiss my ass. I'm doing whatever the fuck I want to do. He's either you going to like it or fire me, nigga. Fuck out of here. I got I got a whole platform I could lean back on. E-Manny doesn't. <laughs> Ice got Twitter. Ish got construction. Parks is an engineer. Melissa Ford is a fine-ass woman. <laughs> you know, they all... Manny, the only thing he got is being Joe Budge's friend. Okay, I'm not trying to make fun of Manny like this, but this tweet kind of did. Like, bro, what is this?